we live? Yeah. You're live. Okay, welcome everyone to Own to Own Berlin 2025. Yeah. I am Dustin Childs, head of credit awareness here at Trend Zero Day Initiative. And if you're not familiar with Own to Own, it is the world's premier hacking competition. We invite security researchers from around the globe to come and test the security of some of the latest and greatest offerings from vendors uh, far and wide. For example, today on this table, we have a team going up against a VMware ESXi server. Uh, so that'll be very interesting to see if they can exploit that. On the back table, we have a team from Viatel going against SharePoint server. Up here, this is worth $150,000. And back there, it's worth $100,000. Part of own to own is if you own it, you own it. And it's not just the laptop that they're getting, it's a lot of cash and glory beyond that. So, uh, without any further ado, Matt, how are we doing back there? Are we ready to go? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's come back this way. Let's start here with the SharePoint bug and see what we can see uh, on this. So, gentlemen, whenever you're ready, go ahead and kick it off. Now, we have timed attempts, so you get three tries per attempt. Each try is 10 minutes, and the three attempts have to be within 30 minutes. Matt, we're not on the clock. Now, I wish I could show you what's going on behind the screen, of course. However, that is actual zero day that we are dealing with. So these are unpatched vulnerabilities that the vendor I saw Microsoft around here someplace, but the vendor has not had a, an opportunity to address. So we don't want to leak any of that information so that it could potentially be used by a threat actor before the vendor has a chance to patch it. Are we done? Are you ready? We're ready. Let's go. All right. Three, two, one. Go. Okay. We are on the clock now. Now, this is actually just the first stage of what needs to happen to win phone to phone. This is the exploitation demonstration stage. After this is successful, assuming it's successful, we go off to a disclosure room. They tell us exactly what happened. We get all the details from the exploit. And we make sure that we are not aware of it. We in ZDI aren't aware of it uh, in our database. Then we bring in Microsoft. And they also de it and make sure that they are not previously aware. Microsoft just had a few patches for SharePoint. So I was worried to see whether or not this would last after Patch Tuesday. So far, we think it has lasted after Patch Tuesday, so that's good to go. Matt, how are we looking? How are we? I think we're at the point where we're verifying access. In the meantime, you get to listen to some of my ridiculous dad jokes. What do you call a paper airplane that doesn't fly? Stationary. Oh, that, that, that's a good one. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. 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 What did the blind fish say? We're going to call the first attempt Okay, we're going to call the first attempt over here failure. Again, he has two more attempts. So while they're resetting over here, let's take a look at ESXi and see if they're ready and see if we can uh, get some action going on on this table. Are we ready over here? No, we're not ready over here. Okay, thanks. It's, it's only live, so let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I got a ton of bad jokes. So, um, what happens during a failure? Obviously, the cog keeps rolling. They have an opportunity to reboot servers, to change configurations to verify configurations. Um, I've seen people actually debug on stage while they're on the clock. That's pretty rare, and uh, Loki Hart is pretty unique for being able to do that. But it has happened. So he gets 27 more minutes over here. They're still setting up his XI server. There's a lot involved, obviously, in setting that up, and we want to make sure that we have a realistic setup. <coughs> and that everything is patched and ready to go. So we will keep rolling with that. Hello, live stream. Hopefully, we're getting some good comments and people are being nice. Now, over here, we're setting up for our 11 o'clock attempt already. So, we have three different tables going on all at the same time. And uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Oh, it's Firefox, isn't it? Firefox is coming up next. So, that's a web browser. 
she knows a web browser. What is that? Um, but web browsers are like one of the original targets for phone help. Unknown actually started back in 2007 at the CanSet conference in Vancouver, where the conference organizer uh, had a MacBook and said, if you own it, meaning if you exploit it, you can own it. You put it on the corporate uh, the, the conference network. Uh, Dino Dizovi overnight uh, had a quick time exploit that he used to cop the MacBook. ZDI paid $10,000 for the bug, and Ponda Own was born. Since then, we have grown. We now do three Ponda Owns a year. We, this is the extension of Vancouver. It's our first year in Berlin here with OffensiveCon. They have been a great host for us. It's a fantastic contest, a conference, and we're happy to have the contest here. In the fall, we kind of when we kick off Ponda Own season in Ireland with our small business and home office and kind of devices thing. That's really the extension of mobile Ponda Own, where we also have cameras and printers and Wi Fi routers and IP cameras and all those things that devices that we depend on but have pretty wide security. And then in January, we'll move to Tokyo for Ponda Own Automotive. We usually partner with Tesla and we look at automotive technologies beyond just the car and into the operating systems and into the CAN bus and the EV charges and everything else. And you may ask, did you give away a Tesla if they pwned it? And the answer is yes, we have given away a couple of Teslas to people who have pwned it. Matt is giving us a signal now that we are ready for a second attempt over here. So let's take a look. Okay, we are starting our second out of three attempts. Now it looks like if it succeeds, it will be relatively quick. But we're now moving into the verification stage. Oh, you guys. Congratulations. Now, in addition to that fine looking Dell laptop, is there anything we can show on the screen, Matt? Oh, fantastic. Let's make sure we do that. So folks on the stream, hang on and let's see if we can show what is on the screen here. He's pop paint. He's pop paint. Oh, okay. So, yes. Uh, hold it, hold that it for is, me. That is demonstration. Now, if confirmed, that's $100,000 <laughs> that he just earned for himself and his team. So, congratulations. They are off to the disclosure room. <laughs> Breathe, breathe. Do not pass out on me. <laughs> not yet. Wait till the dinner tonight when we have lots of adult beverages. You can pass out then. So let's head back to the other table. Let's see how we're going with ESXi. Not another joke. Uh, well, not another joke. The comments in there? No, no. <laughs> So we are just waiting for y'all. Two minutes. Awesome. I could talk for two minutes because I was still talking about the history of Honda. So, uh, yes, we have given away Teslas to people who have popped Teslas. That's pretty impressive. We actually now have to run Tesla attempts inside of an RF enclosure with just the head unit of the Tesla because if we were to hack it without that, we could actually uh, affect cars that are going by in the street. We don't want to do that, uh, especially in Japan, where they have very tight regulations about emanations and signals. So we don't do that. Uh, but it's been a great time over, man, almost two decades now of own to own. We've, that season, we had $3.6 million awarded just in those three phone to owns. And it's incredible to watch the industry evolve. There's been a lot of things that have come out of phone to own over the years, whether it be ASLR, or uh, stack cookies or various defensives that uh, people have come up with. It's been really intriguing to watch the industry grow in its security maturity as the contest evolves over time. So I know we're about a couple minutes away from the next one. And uh, oh wait, I didn't tell my blind fish joke yet, did I? You were about to. I was about to tell my blind fish joke when they were ready. So what does the blind fish say when he runs into a wall to him? Uh, that's, Not bad. That's, that's a good one too. I like that one. What happens when you combine a microscope with a telescope? You get a kaleidoscope. <laughs> that one's not as good. Not so much. I could go all day. So, let me tell you, we saw the tension uh, with VSL in SharePoint. The tension is absolutely real here in the room. 
as we get things set up, they're trying to make sure they're ready to go, trying to make sure everything is configured properly. And there's a lot of variables that go into this. I'll give you an example. In Pokemon Ireland last year, we had an attempt fail because the hardware had the UK version of the firmware on it. Um, well, and excuse me, backwards. We had the, the European version of the firmware, and the exploit the contestant was using focused on the UK version of the firmware, and it was just that one off that paused it. Okay, so we are ready to go on ESXi. Let's take a look at that and see how we go here. Okay, again, we have 10 minute attempts within a 30 minute window. I don't know how long this will take, but I uh, suspect. Nice. Nice. Right. There we go. So a lot of configuration, but a successful demonstration on ESXi. By the way, that's our first ESXi ever in Hodo history. Uh, so that is fantastic. That's also worth $150,000. So that is really, really good. Okay, let's see what if there's something we can show. Again, we don't want to make sure we want to make sure we don't leak any potentially uh, damaging information that could be used by threat actors. Show me one of them hash browns, man. How's it going? So that is uh, Pono, and I hope you enjoyed this live stream. We're having another one this afternoon, in case you missed this one. And uh, yeah, this is Custom Child signing out, and we'll see you later. Thank you.